again, right? Um, being annoyed is not an understatement. Or an understatement. Whatever you call it, anyway, I'm just that annoyed now. Uh, built it all back up. Um, bought a new rad cap for it. Did the oil on it. Oil and filter. Got it all running. Let's go get the key. So that's first turn of the key. But, guess what? We're still pressurising. And now we've got oil and water mixing. Um, so, we'll start it up. Open the door, because it might be a typical Land Rover where it'll self-lock on you. And then I'll have to get someone out to open the door. You ready? That's even running. That's running there. And again. First turn at key. Away we go. I thought, oh yeah. Be alright now. We can get rid of it. Help me life. But no. Typical. Lamb Rover or British design should I say um, so I've got a leak not sure if you see that you see it bubbling see that so that, there's, so, there's something amiss with the torque settings and the torque settings I used auto data for works out in a, uh, five stages so that is 30 newton meters for stage one 60 newton meters for or 70 newton meters for stage two then 90 degrees for stage three stage four is 180 degrees and stage five is 45 degrees on the head bolts which is why they're so long um, did it all um, so either that's where the dowel goes there and we're bubbling there so either something's amiss with where it's seating and I made sure it was like a mirror finish on that block um, put it back put the new pipe on put it new thermostat on, it's had a new rad cap um, rocker cover got sealed up and made sure the plugs on the head had gasket goo on them um, so they all sealed nice because I'm not sure if you can notice it, the engine's a bit dirty like and it's a bit iffy so I kind of made sure that I wanted to put it back together clean the the intake manifold or the the, um, the plenum out clean that, made sure it was mint, even made sure that all the um, the ports were, were clean enough and did put glow plugs back in it, made sure everything was nice, took that out, took the um, uh, temp I think that is, air uh, temp sensor, took that out, made sure water didn't get on it and then put a bit of goo around the um, o-ring on it sealed it make sure it's sealed nice viscous fans back on belt back on and we're mixing with oil it, it's like this actually I'll show you the big tub because I had to drain I was over the maximum level this car or this Land Rover TD5 engine takes 7.2 litres of engine oil so bought two 5 litre tubs from Euro see so that's that's the oil that's out of it so I've seriously got oil and water mixing and I'm fairly sure where that bubble is it's from this bloody thing here this is the old head gasket. There, that there, 
fairly sure we're leaking, well actually we're leaking there, where we're bubbling from. We're bubbling from there. Um, so, I had to, on the new gasket, the hole that on the new gasket was in, like oval, you couldn't even fit the dowel on the back. You can only fit the dowel at the front, which is that there. So I made sure that was made sure that fitted the gasket before I even weighed the cylinder head up. So I emery cloth the dowel, made sure it fitted nice over the gasket, but we're bubbling from there, so we we must be seeping from there. So I'm kind of curious whether to nip the head bolts down a bit, but mm, still not sure. Um, I just don't know. Yeah, that's it. Um, so I'll probably have to keep all this car now all the Christmas. I was hoping to get rid of it and have a bit of extra beer money for like for Christmas, but no, that that doesn't seem to happen. So I'm a bit depressed at the minute, a bit fucking pissed off. So that's where we are now. But yeah, um, pain in the ass it is. Pain in the ass. Um, but this like it's had an um, EGR delete on it, it's got the EGR delete kit on it. It's either a stage one, stage two remap on it by storm tuning. It's got a stainless steel I think it's three three inch system on it all the way back. Um, it's just gasket goo on manifold on exhaust manifolds. So I picked up from Motorsport using gasket goo or silicon. Re really saves uh, leaks better than exhaust paste, just so you're aware. So yeah, um, that's where I'm at with that one. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to help me out, please leave suggestions and comments below and tell me what your thoughts are on it, because it's naffing me off. Please leave a like, subscribe, the usual stuff. Thank you for watching.